one, we are the Team Ye. We are presenting our SmartPot venture. Let's start with Milestone 1. Who are we? SmartPot aims to help consumers maintain their plant health and growth, even when they can't manage their time. Making a SmartPot that automatically water your plants as needed. For the problem and opportunity, Plant care is a challenge for people with various lifestyles, including plant enthusiastic, condo homeowner, and those people with busy schedule. The objective of this smart path is to reduce plant waste, minimize inconvenience, and address unreliable plant care guidelines. Problem interviews and survey results, we collected responses from 35 participants through Google Form. Among the responses, both indicated that the subject doesn't require addressing a specific problem. Climate take place estimation. As a city alone, the population is around 2.7 million. Among them, there are approximately 156,000 condominium owners, 301 residential property owners, and about 4,500 gardening enthusiasts. Each group represents a potential customer base. Customer persona, this is Sarah Cruz representing a potential customer for the smart path. Understanding her demographic, psychographic goals and challenges help us tailor our marketing, product features and support to meet her specific needs to appeal to customers like Sarah who are environmentally conscious and they savvy but face challenges in caring for their elder plant. For the value proposition, the smart path offers an automated plant care system with a mobile application, providing users with a time saving plant health assurance, and customization, effectively addressing common challenges like standard watering routine and looking for a care status. This solution, the SmartPath, offers a hassle-free solution to manual watering, ensuring precise water delivery for plants. Its user-friendly mobile app allows remote monitoring and control of the watering schedule. The software analyzes sensor data to predict and address potential plant health issues. Additionally, the app employs image recognition or user input to customize care recommendations based on the specific needs of each plant type. For the competitor analysis, we have two possible competitors who also sell a pot that has almost the same feature as our product, and they are the Grace Garden and IKEA pot. And for the comparison summary features of the competitor's product, the Grace Garden emphasizes durability and automatic watering, IKEA pot is praised for its aesthetic strength and versatile use, and our product, which is the smart pot, stand out with its smart features, smartphone app integration that offers guide, instructional resources, socialization for plant lovers, recommendation from professionals, and solar power functionality offering a unique plant care experience. That will be all for Milestone 1. Let's proceed to Milestone 2. To summarize the content of our Lean Canvas, first one is the problem. We saw that people like to plant but don't have time to take care of them. Second one is the target customer, which is the plant enthusiast and busy plant lovers. And the early adopters is Quezon City residents. And for the solution is developed into a pot that automatically water itself. And the UBP is the utilization of a smartphone app for plant care information. For the high-level concept, making planting easy and affordable with AI even with zero gardening knowledge. The channel is reaching through social media, flyers, and website. For the revenue stream, direct app sales, add in the app, and potential subscription service for premium app futures. And for the cost structure, we separate it through fixed cost and variable cost. But minimum viable product is designed for cost-effective testing and features of starting price of 1,000 pesos. The product or utilizes technology to simplify gardening featuring sensors for monitoring plant parameters. With automatic watering based on sensor data, users can control the smart spot through a mobile phone, customizing settings, tracking plant growth, and accessing educational resources. Offering flexible options, customers can choose pot sizes and additional services via the app. This is our minimum viable product, steps that the customer will follow. First step, replace or charge the battery. Second, refill the water tank. Third step, place the pot in the preferred spot. Fourth, power on the smart pad. Fifth, download the application. Next would be connect to the smart pad itself. 
7.7 configure or control the self-watering feature on the application and lastly power off the smart pad MVP validation the smart pads app based control is a key benefit allowing users to monitor and receive personalized care instructions the survey indicates a strong intention purchased with most customers willing to pay the specific prices for two different sizes. The respondents appreciate the product's eco-friendly materials, cost-effective production, energy-efficient design, and long-lasting durability. All users express deep interest in recommend recommending the smart pad to others, emphasizing its affordability and the convenience it brings. Conclusion, Realization, Next Test After conducting thorough testing of our minimum viable product or MVP, we have realized a strong interest and willingness to purchase our smartphone. All respondents expressed an intention to buy due to the update control for plan care. The next step involves utilizing this feedback to make improvements. That will be all for my Stone 2. Let's proceed to my Stone 3. Customer sales funnel target market is 2,679,450. So these are the individuals in Quezon City who have a strong and enthusiastic for gardening. In lead, 160,499 individuals or people who show an interest in our product. On our opportunities or prospects is 2,679,450 times. 5.99%. So, these are the individual who are a possible customers that fits the criteria that shows their willingness as well as the potential to purchase our product. And lastly, the customer, 3,498. They are the actual individuals who have made purchase of our product. Are they buyers? Application plan a target customer consists of individuals residing in condominiums, residential property owners, and gardening enthusiasts. In Quezon City, there are approximately 156,000 condominium owners, constituting 5.82% of the population. Residential property owners make up about 301 individuals, accounting for 0.01%. Well, there are 4,500 gardening enthusiasts, making up 0.16%. To reach our target customers, we plan to utilize social media, flyers in our website, and communication channels. The estimated number of leads from condominium owners is 156,000. For residential property owners, there are approximately 301 leads. And for the gardening enthusiasts, there are 4,500 leads. The anticipated cost to convert these leads into actual customers is 7,732 pesos. For the customer owners, 1,382 pesos. For the residential property owners, 2,127 pesos for the garden. For our go-to-market strategy, our platforms include website, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. This platform nowadays is very useful for establishing a brand online identity. It provides a platform for customers to learn more about our venture, contributing to brand establishment and credibility, and of course, for sales. Positioning Statement SmartPath is an innovative approach to take care of our plan that combines modern technology with an idea that is simple to apply. Self-watering system that can be handled by a mobile application are great for busy people and plant lovers who want to take care of their plant without a lot of work. Our smart pot is a good for our environment in a special way. It tells us in a real time how much water needed on the soil and gives us a specific care tips for different types of plant. And we have here sales and distribution model. Each of these channels serve a specific purpose in reaching and engaging our customer, like website, social media, digital advertisement, flyers, and word of mouth. Combining this channel in a well-coordinated, sales and distribution strategy can amplify our overall impact. For example, 
our business might use social media to build brand awareness, digital advertising to drive traffic to its website, a direct sales website for online transaction, flyers for local promotion, and rely on word of mouth to enhance reputation and trust. Understanding the strength and purpose of each channel allows us to tailor our approach to target audience, market condition, and business goals. For the action plan, the action plan we've outlined for our promoting smart path involves various strategies to increase awareness, engage customer, and drive sale. Like online present, website launch, flyer distribution, partnership, and product demos. By combining this element in our action plan, we are employing a multi-phase approach to marketing and sales. This strategy allows us to reach our potential customer through various channels, catering to different preferences and behaviors. The ultimate goal is to create a comprehensive and effective marketing ecosystem that maximizes awareness, engagement, and conversion for our smart Financial plan consultant fees allocating 60,000 for consultant fees strategic investment to ensure expertise in IT, PLNT management, legal matters, and accounting. So, business registration fee with a total registration expense of 8,980 pesos. It reflects a commitment to a regulatory compliance. License obtaining a business license involves uh, several crucial elements, while the cost of may seem intricate viewing it as an investment and credibility and adherence to regulation is the key. Website development allocating 15,000 pesos for website development. App development, the analysis pointing to minimum budget of 40,000 pesos for app development highlights the growing importance of mobile platforms. Stationary and office supplies uh, this budget uh, ensures a uh, well-equipped and organized workspace for both efficiency and professionalism. Marketing and professional costs. Recognizing the importance of digital marketing in today's business landscape, this budget supports efforts to promote the brand and engage with the target audience online. Uh, nine, uh, rental expense, uh, uh, good for three months with an advanced deposit. Securing a three-month rental with an advanced deposit provides stability and financing, uh, financial planning. Utilities and bills, average cost for commercial building, so um, monthly cost for uh, 700 square foot location. Uh, comprehensive lunch plan covering initial lunch and ongoing optimization based on real-time data, so allocating a budget with, within industry standards for a product launch salaries uh, allocated budget 200,000 pesos investing in a competitive salary budget is essential for attracting and retaining talented individuals fostering a positive work environment and ultimately contributing to the success of the business for the forecast PNL or the profit and loss forecast the forecast shows how much money we will make from selling a product and how much profit we will gain from this. As you can see, sales are shown in the table. Under that is the COG and operating cost of our product, which is the smart part, are all included in the profit and loss estimate. So this profit and loss forecast is for one year, starting from January to December. And under sales, there are cash sales, number of customers, and price per unit. Cash is considered to include bills, bills coins, and money order as for as form of payments. Cash sales are based on the price per unit, and the number of the customer, as we can see in this table, is the number of customer per month changes per month. It can be seen that the number of customer that not does not decrease by one thousand eight hundred, even though it is changed every month, which is good because it means that. There are still many people who buying the product over the year. Then the total sales for a product for a year is 22,877.100 pesos. Then the next one is the COG or cost of goods sold. This is the sum of all direct costs associated with making a product. 
the cost per unit of our product is 400 pesos and the price is 999 pesos meaning that for every number of units sold we, we sell we have 599 pesos of profit then the cost of service is changing per month since the number of finishes sold every month is also changing then the total cost of services in a year is 9,160,000 pesos and the gross profit is 13,717.100 pesos lastly is fixed expenses under fixed expenses are the salaries marketing and promotion digital marketing utility and utilities such as electricity and customer service and last one is the rent so since this is a fixed cost the price of every expense in here is stable and predictable so the total expenses in the whole year are 3 million and the result shows that the net profit or loss in a year is 10,717 the gross profit margin is 60% and the net profit for a whole year is 47% our financial projection, year 1, 20 to 10 approximately, 22,900 units in average price of 199 pesos per unit. This results in a total revenue of around 22.8 million pesos. Our gross profit is expected to be around 13.7 million pesos in year 1, considering an average cost per unit of 100 pesos. However, we have also factored in capital costs for equipment and product development, totaling 1.8 million pesos. Annual expenses include salary, marketing, utility, office of rate, and rent. Year 1 estimates suggest a total of 3.2 million pesos in expenses. Our earnings for interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization for year 1 are projected to be approximately 10.7 million pesos. This indicates as we move forward, our sales are projected to increase steadily, reaching nearly 47% of the units in year 4. Correspondingly, our revenue grows to around 47.5 million pesos. With increasing, our gross profit and expenses also rise. However, we maintain a healthy profit margin throughout this year. By year 5, our EBITDA is forecasted to reach 35.5 million pesos, showing substantial growth in long-term sustainability. Newly economics, the business seems to be performing well in terms of revenue, profit margins, and customer value. To ensure continued success, it's important for the business to maintain a balance between customer acquisition and retention, keeping an eye on operational efficiency and cost. Regular monitoring and adjustment to strategies based on changing market conditions will be the key for sustained success. With the team of our venture, first is the CEO, Mr. Diose Christopher Andre, the COO, Ms. Duhailong Sod Riyabi, the CFO, Mr. Pining Russell, the CTO, Ms. Dibina Gracia China, and lastly, the CMO, Ms. Malaysia Mark. And what makes us a good team? The primary reason why we are certain to achieve the objectives we, are, we have set for the venture is because the company structure differs in different strengths and attributes we all have. Possess effective coordination skills, critical reasoning, creativity perspective, and passion toward accomplishing the set objectives. And that's it for our milestone tree. Thank you for listening and hoping you enjoy our venture product. Once again, we are the Team Yay.